Okay, we are back. We are ready to get back to it. It's two to one. David is in the lead. He bossed us around. We stayed where we were and we're ready to play round two, Dr. Lori. <laughs> well, apparently the bossing around worked because everyone's still here, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so our first item in this round is a bronze statue. It's sent in by Lynn, and this is done by an artist or a sculptor known as Peno. Yeah, Emile Peno. So if you've been in France, right, and you see all the monuments in France, Emile Peno is the guy who did all the monuments. You know, the guys on the horses, all, all in those landmarks all over Paris. Wow. So this is a sculpture by Emile Peno. It's called Le Angelus. Very, very well known um, piece. This particular piece is bronze, it's cast. It's in very nice condition. I guess Lynn's family had kept it since, of course, the early 1900s, late 19th century, early 20th century, or the late. Um, 1800s, excuse me, early 1900s, uh, kept it in her family for a long time. It's nice. One of the things from looking at that picture that I can't really tell is the perspective of how big it is. Like, is this, oh, okay. All right, well, it's decent sized. I'm, I'm, you know, give or take. When we're That's talking you are. about a sculpture like this, is it an original a, a replication produced in some form? Like how? Typically with sculptures, you know, because it's so expensive to make the molds, they typically won't just make one and then break the mold. So mm -hmm. typically you'll have an addition. So with sculptures of bronze like this, you might have an addition of six or 12 or 50. But I would think this one's probably in the 12 range. There's probably 11 others somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Going with my well, gut, Dr. Lori. that makes me think it's okay. worth more money, actually. Okay. I just don't know. Original work of art. <laughs> David's looking at me like, what does that mean? Well, no, I'm going to say. I'm going higher. What, what, that, just what, based on what you said there, I'm going higher. Heather is looking at your sheet. I'm not I changing mean, my number, Dr. Class, Lori. Heather, I would get you. I'd be like, what are you doing looking at his paper? That was, <laughs> I, I didn't do a good job of secretly no. spying. Were you looking I at my... I wasn't going to change you it were anyway. Not. I drew a statue while you were huh? trying oh, to figure out. Oh, good for you. Okay. I went 1500. I went 750. Half of that. Heather didn't have to look at your sheet because Heather's right. It's worth $2,500. No kidding. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's great Beautiful for piece. Lynn. Good for Lynn. Beautiful. Lynn. Okay, all right. Let's. Th it's really nice, and I love yeah. when we get these high-priced, really cool items too. I know. It's so cool. Um, <laughs> Let's go to Nancy and a Raggedy Andy doll, which is so neat. My next door neighbor actually made one of these for, for Lila. Oh, how sweet. Aww. But it wasn't in the box and it wasn't an original. So let's learn more about this one, Dr. And Lori. it wasn't from the 70s and she said she wants it gone. I will date myself. I had this Raggedy Ann and Andy and I want it because you know what? She doesn't want it. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. And it reminds me of childhood. Raggedy Ann and Andy, and some of the Raggedy Ann and Andy's can be very, very valuable, but that's for after you guess. So it's a Raggedy Ann and Andy doll from the 1970s. Okay. And she, Nancy wants to get rid of it. It's in the original box, which is important. You know, it's not mint, but it's in package. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Dr. Lori, how much you'd be willing to pay for this, but that, that gives away too much information. That would give it away. Uh, yeah, no. Tell us how mass produced this was. I don't buy was. anything. Oh, you don't. Not by any. <laughs> do you barter? No. Do you trade? Is that what you do? No, oh. I do none of that because you can't get an honest appraisal from a, an appraiser who wants to buy it from you. Oh, oh that makes sense. Oh. That makes I sense, yeah. 25 years, I've never bought a thing. I've been offered lots of good stuff, but no. So hmm. there are probably Raggedy Andy dolls that go back way farther than the 1970s. Yeah. The, yes. the fact that this is from the 70s, it's probably, does it have special cachet because of that? Or it's probably worth less than those older dolls? It's probably worth less than the older dolls. The older dolls date to the early 1900s, 1912, 1914, that neck of the woods. Um, this one from the 70s in the box, mass produced, you know, a lot of them out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. How do you know so fast? You go with your gut. Dr. Lori says oh. that. If you're wrong, there's nothing at stake here. Well, no, there's a big game at stake. <laughs> All right, go ahead. There's not jewelry at stake, David. <laughs> <laughs> I went $75. I went higher than that. I went $170. 20 bucks. Yeah. Holy I was cow. even sure. I thought that I went too high, but. Oh, wow. All right, I have to try to redeem myself here. So last and it's up. A memory. 
It's a memory. You yeah. look at it, you go, well, oh, I remember those. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. That's exactly it. So the last one is from Patty, and it is a square clock. That's the way it's being described. Oh. Yeah, it's an organ grinder clock, um, Japanese made of the 1980s. Um, so the organ grinder, you can see it on the top. And then that little funny digital clock. Yeah. Um, kind of, it, it would make, we had one of these in my mother's house, I remember, and it would kind of go click when the when the number changed. I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't very quiet at all. But those are from the 19, 1970s, 1980s or so. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, got it. Organ grinder form is not something you see all that often. Wait, 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 say that again. No, the something you would not see. Organ grinder itself. There's an image of an organ grinder. There, there's a figure, and then right. you can see, of course, that's the organ, and then in the middle of the organ is the clock itself. This is not a typical form that you see, a typical figure. You know, you might see a, a woman with a cat or a woman in a rocking chair with these clocks, but organ grinders, not so much. Okay. okay. Just, uh, you know okay. what? I'm going to go back. I'm gonna go back. I don't You're gonna know. go back. I'm gonna go back because I I erase, but I don't, I still I'm gonna go sixty five dollars. I went eighty five dollars. Worth fifty dollars. Ah, oh, Heather wins. Heather, Heather's hot today. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lori. All right, as always, we've learned a lot, Dr. Lori. We <laughs> love talking to you. I love talking to you. Happy Tuesday. You same to you, Dr. Lori. And thanks to everyone for sending us your photos. And maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. And once again, congratulations to Heather Abraham. Wow, look at you. Not a sore loser at all. Not at all.